Hello? No, we are filming. You're on camera. I'm actually speaking on camera right now. No, no one can see you, but they can see me talking to you. This is what like packing nuts must taste like. another really cool tasting video for you. We have an Asian tasting video. So there's a whole bunch of snacks, like baked goods, Chips and, and drinks. There's even an alcoholic beverage in this one. I didn't know it at first. Everything that we bought is from the Sun Sun Grocer down in Durban North. And I have a little list here and I can tell you how much everything costs. And we're really excited to get into it. So shall we start? What would you like to start trying, my love? Let's do these peak crackers. That last video you did, I did it had with my these sister. exact same things that were basil flavored. Yes, we did a video. I did a video with my sister, and we bought the exact crackers, and they were basil flavored. They were delicious, but we both liked so, a little yeah. bit of a spicy kick. Whatever that means, I don't know. I think it's a brand. Maybe it just says pea brand? crackers. This Asian stuff is Maybe. really hard to open. Like all this plastic is like exceptionally thick. Mm. Like our chips are not. They smell really good. Oh, they smell really good. So these are, Wait. see if I can find the thing on here. Spice chips. These are 19 Rand. It just says spice it's chips. It's pretty expensive for. Yeah, 19 Rand. It's expensive for a smaller bag. bag of chips, but it's all important. Because so. I mean, they look like um, fritos. They're kind of like twisty screwdrivers. Oh, those twisty fritos. Yeah. So, cheers. Mmm. Mm. That's real nice. Mmm. They look very nice. They're kind of oniony. Mmm. And you also taste like onion. Mmm. I definitely taste onion. They're the kind of spicy that you'll have one and it's like moderately spicy. And with each chip you eat, it gets hotter. It's like. There's garlic there as well. Mmm. Do you think these are better? It's really. Or worse than the basil ones? I like these better. I just have the basil ones more. I reckon a solid seven. Mmm. I think a seven is pretty good. Like, like they're definitely above average. Sesh. Like it's nice. Look, put it this way, it's better than some Simba chips I've tasted. Way better. Yeah, that's true. Some Simba chips so, are not great. This one is also 19 rand. Some of them had little stickers on. Oh wait a minute, those sorry, the, these were actually 22 rand. The the till slip is very confusing. Ooh, worse. These were actually 22 rand. The next ones were actually 19 rand. They are just the Oishi? Oishi? And they're potato chips and they are sweet and spicy. Taiwanese flavor. as well. Oh, well, zero grams trans fat. Pretty impressive. Do you want to open them up? We again, need brute force again here. Again, it's a thick plastic. It's really I remember the video I did with my sister. Like, it's very hard to open some of this stuff. You actually need, like, a knife or a pair of scissors. Yeah, it looks like a lay. Ooh, they actually smell like. I don't know if you can see. The it, sweet chili lays, they smell like those. Those Thai sweet chili lays. Mmm, they do smell kind of like. The whole sweet and spicy vibe, it kind of makes taste. it. Mmm. I like that sweet and spicy. It's kind of like. Barbecue. Kind of barbecue. A little bit barbecue. But like, imagine the. The lays balsamic vinegar and onion, but without the balsamic vinegar. Mm. Yeah, actually, I'll give these an eight. An eight. Mm. I actually, I like the spice of the other ones, but the general flavor and that chip itself is really good. Like these, I would give like a six, only because I can't see myself eating more than like that. I'll demolish the bag. Well, put it this way: Would you repurchase either of them? I'd repurchase that one. Okay, Nick would go for the first. I would definitely go for the second. I like those Definitely. very much. Those look like sieve to me, the texture of those. They are shrimp flavored chips. Like and it's the most useless little bag of chips. Like Shrimp or prawn? No, they're prawn, prawn. flavor. And those were... Mimi. Mimi chips. Those were three bad. They kind of look like those bags of seven okay. nuts, but it's just obviously yeah. the sieve and they are... But they like look very plastic, like... 
It looks like when you were a kid, like remember like GI Joes and stuff had like weapons that fitted into the little slot mm. in his hand. That, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Oh no. Mm. Texture's not good. To me it's texturally the same as Steph. No, that's repulsive. That's a little bit harsh. I'll try another one. Mm. It tastes nothing like prawns. You know what it tastes like? Have you ever eaten two minute noodles raw? Thank you for poking it. Mm, uh -huh. It's actually quite nice. That's, that's gross. Um, I'll give that like a very, very, very stern mm. 2 out of 10. Two. Maybe a 3. Yep. But it's not repulsive. When Nick found a coffee drink in the last yeah. tasting video, which I'll link below, we did taste a coffee drink, which was almost like a watered iced coffee, watered down. It wasn't bad, I drank it, I enjoyed it. This was 28 grams. So we're going to pour some into a glass. It looks like coffee with milk. The other one was like water. Yeah. So cheers. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh. It tastes like evaporated it's, milk. It's nice, but it's, yeah. It's, it's like evaporated, evaporated milk, milk with, with coffee, coffee and sugar. That's very nice. I smashed mine. I noticed you downed it like it was a shooter. I'm intrigued for this. So we have shrimp strips. I don't even know how to say that name. I'm assuming that's like no, a brand I'm, name. I'm not going to attempt it because yeah. I just now butcher some of I'm, I'm not even going to mm. try that because yeah. I'm going to offend people, I think. Be. We like those prawn chips that you get from Woody's. They smell like those. These are very, very fishy smelling. No, like they, <laughs> they don't smell like those. Oh gosh, no. Oh, I don't like that. That's exceptionally fishy smelling. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm scared to taste it, so I'm going to wait for you to you try it. You know those new Simba chips that are, they like, they like hollow in the middle? Mm, kind of like like they're called straws or something, yeah, the sour something cream like ones. So it looks like a, like a bra. I'm actually scared for how it's going to taste because it doesn't smell good. Mm. It doesn't taste that much. Like it's better than those other ones. Isn't it better? It tastes better than it smells. Texturally, it's, it's quite powdery. But they don't carry a lot of flavor. No, trust me, they taste way better than they smell. Yeah, just don't smell the bag. Well, those were 24 rand. Drinks. These look like tomato flavored. They almost look like bugles. Yeah, like the tomato flavored view and these are five bucks. They were five bucks for this tiny little bag, so we thought, hey, let's try. And there's literally no English on this whatsoever, so. It's the kind of thing you'd buy and pop into Kitty's lunch oh, boxes. They've really done a good job. There's like plastic form on inside. That's fine, just leave that. Oh, they're tiny. Teeny tiny bugles. They are bugles. You'd expect them to be a little bit more red. Mmm. Are they good? Mmm. They have flavor. Oh, very nice. One thing I have to say that I've noticed. They're oddly sweet. Mmm. I think these are one of my favorites so far. So far, I would say pea crackers, then these. I'll give these a six. Six and a half. I'd give these a seven or an eight. The only reason why I have six, six and a half is because I could eat that little tiny bag. But no more than that. Well, this is, looks like a flavored milk. I think it is a strawberry milk. So that is strawberry. That is 10 rand. You remember when you were at school and like they were the more fortunate kids? They got these juices. Like when I was a kid, I never got these type of fancy juices. There were I got them. That got the series juices that I got over our set of like, I got those every now and then. Not every day, maybe once a week. That's because you were spoiled. I was a little child. Thanks, Mom. Wow, that is recklessly sweet. Jeez. Is it very, very sweet? Oh! My teeth are rotting as we speak. That's not so milky, though. 
Like if you look at the bottle, you think it's gonna be like a seriously it's like a fruit juice. It's Actually. like a creamy fruit juice. You know what that tastes like? That tastes like strawberry yogetters liquefied. Yeah, but like concentrated. Mmm. It's it's very sweet. That is crazy. I don't crazy think sweet. I could drink a whole thing of this. Okay, it's 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 okay. You know, what I would honestly do with that is I'd pour myself a glass of milk, like half, half this half milk, yeah. And pour that in, and I'd probably be okay. These I want to try purely <clears throat> because it looks like a giant cook Bavarian nut type texture. It looks like a giant, uh, like a really hard cook sister cookie. But we may need a sip for that. So, from if you are not from South Africa, do you want to explain Cook Sisters? Those are my lash scissors. He's using my lash and eyebrow scissors to cut open a bag of giant Asian Cook Sisters. A Cook Sister is <clears throat> like it, it's dough really that gets plaited it together. It smells like Cook Sisters. And then they deep fry it. And then it gets, I think it's deep fried. Yeah, it's deep fried. And then they make, a, and they make a syrup, like mm. a very strong syrup. But it's shattered, like, like, or And then it gets stuck. Smell that. It, like it looks like a cook sister that's dry. So if you're from South Africa, you'll understand why we say it looks like a cook sister. But it's a hard cookie, apparently. Oh, okay. I guess those it are makes hard. sense. I've read about these. I can't And they them. say that it's a tea biscuit. So I would kind assume it. it's kind of like. Mm. Like Omar that you've got a dip maybe? Like a rat, yeah. Like it's nice, but they all have that weird like aftertaste. Aftertaste. Mm. Like it's nice, like it's really sweet up front. And yes, then this it's... is harder than a rask though. It's got but have you noticed how we said all of the savory stuff had almost like a sweet element to it? This this has a saltiness to it. it tastes like kettle corn, the flavour. That's kind of salty, yeah. yeah. That with a cup of tea would be sublime actually. There's a sesame flavour to it. You taste the sesame. That's that weird aftertaste, it's sesame. I would honestly... These are re really good, but you need them with tea or coffee. 7 out of 10. Mm. I'll give them an 8. An 8? Mm. The last drink that we have, we have two more products left, is a Suntory 3% alcohol peach soda. It was advertised as a soda, but apparently it's alcoholic, and it did say so on the shelf, and I wasn't paying attention. And the can actually says three percent alcohol. So it's like one percent less than beer. Yeah, Maybe like the closest thing we can equate it to is like a brutal fruit. Oh, and it's clear. I was expecting it to come out peach I colored. Thought it would be that color. Yeah, because if you See, look at the like can. Lemonade. Look at the can, you expect it to come out that colour. It, it literally looks like a... It smells like... It smells like peach brutal fruit. Really? Mm. See, I only like certain brutal fruits. I don't like all of them. It tastes like peach brutal fruit. Do they even still make the peach brutal fruits, I wonder? Because I yeah. quite like those. Ooh, that smells yummy. Mm, it smells like... It tastes like peach brutal fruit. Ooh, that's nice. Like that with... Like if you out on holiday mm. and whatever, and you're gonna have like something with mm. breakfast, but you want to be a bit a bit jazzy and have booze mm. for breakfast. So like instead of having like a mimosa, mm. or something, you would have. It tastes like um, the flavored Aquilas, mm. but alcoholic. I really like that. Nice. It's like a really fresh. But it's, clean it's taste. more peach scented and flavored. I mean that smells like legit peach. Mm. Like it's not like an artificial. Not an artificial peach at all. It's like proper. I mean, smell there, like it smells like, you know, but like not the, mm. like a proper furry peach. Mm. It's really nice because you expect it to come out really, really pink. It's nice. And like artificial tasting, art, but it's got a, that's why I say like a salsa or a flavored water. It's got that really fresh, clean, crisp taste to it. Mm. It's not overly sweet. It's definitely not as sweet as brutal fruit, but you taste strong peach. The last thing. There's a Gatto de Lici. So this one actually came in three flavors. It's a lychee cake. It looks like those fig biscuits. I don't think they're necessarily called fig newtons here, but we like occasionally get them, I think, in Woolies and certain places. And it looks like they're kind of like roll with the fig filling. 
Let me know down below if you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm not insane because my husband's never ever had one. And I think he'd really like them, they're good. This one came in three flavors. There was pineapple, which Nick does not eat pineapple, so that was a no-go. Strawberry, which no, I know that we love. And lychee, so we went with the lychee thinking it's a little bit more unusual. Ooh. Very intense smelling. Of lychee or just? Well, it smells like something, like it's not. Should we just share one or do you want a whole one? No, we'll share one as a taste. So, ooh, I don't like that smell. It's a weird smell. You know, it smells like a dustbin. <laughs> no, man, it does. what does your dustbin smell like? Soft food. You see, that's what the fig ones are like. They have that kind Very of filling. Very filled with stuff. Which looks quite sugary. Why do you give me the bigger piece? Looks like sugary kind of. Oh, and yeah. I really don't like the smell of that. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I can even eat it. I don't think I can get past that smell. It's not bad. Hmm. It's kind of like a. If you can imagine making, you know like how raisins obviously are made from grapes? Yeah. Imagine making like a dried fruit from a lychee. I mean, it's a proper taste, you can't eat it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I expected it you know what to you're come smelling out smelling of pastry. You're not used to smelling, it's, it's very, it's getting there now the packaging's open. It's like a very artificial butter, that's what it is. Like a very artificial rancid butter. But again, like that with a cup of tea, I'm game. What do you rate that? I'll give it five, four. Mm -mm. I'm going to give it a naught. A naught? Genuinely, that's all I can smell still. Okay, it is getting better. Yeah, but what I found bizarre is you'll eat like exceptionally strong cheeses which smell like feet and then you won't eat that. But I like the taste of feet apparently. So, we only had 10 products this time. It was a little bit of a mini grab what we could when we were at Sun Sun. Nice. What is it called? Sun Sun Fresh Market. Yeah. It is number shop 3 at Mishlanga Rocks Drive, Durban North. If you just pop them into your Google, you'll find them. But I will link um, the Google site for them. They've got some great stuff and they even have candied chicken feet, which I would really, really like to get and get Nick to taste. Bizarrely, they had like Italian style mozzarella sticks. Yeah. If you enjoyed this tasting video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.